Today on VLAMP, we're explaining 20 film terms you need to know. Welcome everyone to VLAMP, video lighting, audio, music, and photography how-to show. I'm of course your host, Matt Haslam, and today we're explaining different terms in the film industry which you absolutely must know, so let's get started. 180 rule. This rule states that all cameras should be positioned on one side of a subject. For example, if you were conducting a two-person interview, you should draw an imaginary line between the interviewer and the interviewee, and keep all cameras on the one side of this line. If you are filming a stage concert, you should draw a line along the front of the stage and keep all cameras in front of that line. Many productions break this rule out of necessity or just so they can capture more unique camera angles. This is in fact just one of the many rules in the film industry which is made to be broken. A clamp. This type of clamp is used to secure medium or large items to any number of surfaces. They come in an array of sizes and colors. Action. This term refers to multiple things on set. As an adjective, it means anything an actor does, such as when they move a prop or walk across the set. As a call, it means when the director calls action, the scene begins and everyone on set begins filming of that scene. Actor, a male person playing a role in a film or live stage production. Actress, a female person playing a role in a film or live stage production. AD, assistant director. Ad lib. This term refers to when an actor or actress improvises a line or lines from a script during their performance. Added light. This term refers to any light which is brought into a scene. This would include any light which comes from a lighting instrument such as a spotlight, softbox, or any lighting equipment which produces its own light source. This term includes everything except for any available light. Aerial shot. Any shot which is captured from the air looking down. These shots can be captured from a helicopter, a camera drone, or a very long camera crane which is risen into the air. AGC. This stands for automatic gain control and regulates the volume of the audio or video levels automatically without using pots. Ambience. Background sounds. Animation. This term refers to a type of video or film shot which is produced in a computer graphic. These would include cartoons, or a CGI scene out of Star Wars movie, and so on. Aperture refers to the measurement of the opening in a camera lens that regulates the amount of light passing through and actually contacting the film or camera sensor. Apple box. These are simple wooden boxes used to elevate props, set pieces, or stands on set of a production. These come in many different sizes, including full apple, half apple, quarter apple, and pancakes. Apple box positions, New York, Texas, Chicago, and LA. All four of these terms are used by directors to tell crew how to place an apple box. A director might call the same position either Texas or Chicago, depending on which side of the country they are from, or which term they learned when they were growing up in film industry. New York refers to when an apple box is positioned on its end. Texas or Chicago are terms when an apple box is positioned on its side, and LA or Los Angeles is a term when an apple box is positioned on its largest side or flat on the floor. Art Director The person responsible for the look of the set for each and every scene of a production. This person is in charge of the art department and has the final say on what props, furniture, fabrics, and set pieces are used to make a scene look authentic to a project. Aspect Ratio This term refers to the ratio between the width and the height of the image you capture. For instance, a full HD image which is 1920 pixels wide and 1080 pixels high will have an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. Audio This term refers to everything your audience will hear while watching the video or film. Audition An audition is when many actors or actresses show a director or a casting director how they would play a role of a certain character in a script for a film or live stage production. The casting director can choose from the many actors who auditioned to decide who will play each character in the project. Auditions can be done in person 
or by sending in videos to a casting director online. Available light. This term refers to any light which is not artificially added to a production location. This type of light would include the sunlight, but it would exclude any spotlights, softboxes, or any lighting equipment, including lamps or ceiling lights, already installed in a location, all of which are referred to as added light. Baby pin. A 5 8 inch stud, which can be found on most pieces of grip or lighting stands, which allows you to mount a piece of equipment to the stand. A baby plate. This term refers to a steel plate which is welded onto a baby pin, allowing you to attach grip equipment, lighting equipment, and cameras to a flat surface, such as walls. This plate is screwed or bolted onto a flat surface, such as a wall or a floor, and the baby pin sticks out, allowing you to attach a number of items to it. Backdrop. This term refers to a wall or a curtain which is placed in the very back of the production set, behind whatever is being filmed. A backdrop will usually be covering whatever is behind it from the view of the camera. A backdrop also allows the audience to concentrate on the characters or the actual action which the director wants the audience to concentrate on by not offering the audience any distractions behind the actor or action which is being filmed. In most cases, backdrops will offer a much more aesthetically pleasing look to a shot. Background music. Audio tracks with no lyrical content, which are played in the background at a lower volume as compared to the dialogue. These background music tracks are chosen per scene to help the viewer feel the emotion of the sequence. Backlighting. Lighting which is placed behind an actor and aimed directly at the camera to cause a silhouette effect to the camera's perspective. For this to occur, there is usually no or very little lighting on the camera side of the scene facing the subject. All lighting is behind the subject directed at the camera. Bar clamp. This refers to the device which clamps onto furniture or other more fragile items allowing rigging to be connected to items which are farther apart for which super clamps and other rigging cannot attach to. Barn doors. Folding pieces of black metal which are attached at all four sides to a light. These doors can be swung open or closed in any combination to control where the light is aimed. These are mostly used to control a light spill. Beef. The strength or amount of light a lighting instrument produces. Best boy. This position is responsible for, among other things, being the technical assistant to a gaffer or a key grip. Big Ben. These are cheeseboro clamps with a 1 and 1 8 inch pin welded to them. Black Wrap. If you have ever used aluminum foil in a roll in your kitchen to help you cover your casserole to make your dinner, you likely know how to use Black Wrap. The only difference between your kitchen's aluminum foil roll and Black Wrap for film production is that black wrap is painted a non-reflective black and is a little stronger than the standard aluminum foil rolls. Blocking a shot. This term refers to when a director will tell actors where to stand or where to move during a scene. Generally, a director will walk into a scene and physically move actors around, showing them where they should move to or where they should stand before the cameras start filming. Blooper. This refers to a funny moment on set when an actor or actress mistakes a line and says something funny instead. This may cause other actors or crew in the scene to laugh which causes the director to end the take of that scene until control is regained on set. Blue screen, a light blue piece of fabric which is draped in the backdrop of a shot to allow the editors and visual effects artists to replace the blue with another picture, such as a CGI animation. It is important to have your talent not wear anything blue or have blue eyes for this. Boom. This refers to an arm which allows riggers or audio engineers to hang lights or audio equipment out and above a scene. A boom can be used for the audio department so they can hang microphones above an actor. They can also be used on C-stands for hanging lighting equipment over a set. Boom op, boom operator. This person's sole responsibility is to operate the boom for the microphone on set. Generally, a boom op will hold the boom pole over their head and over the camera to get a microphone as close to the action as possible. These boom operators will also generally wear a pair of headphones to allow them to hear the audio they are capturing with the mic they control 
so they can make slight adjustments during a scene. Bridging shot. This shot refers to a new establishing shot for a new location. In the beginning of your film, you will have an establishing shot, establishing where your scene takes place. If you suddenly cut to a different location, a new scene, or a different time period, you need to insert a bridge shot, which is another extreme wide shot of the new location, with text appearing on the screen, telling the audience where the new location is. Bumper. You have most likely seen bumpers before. This term refers to the titles at the beginning of a film, or the intro sequence, in the beginning of a series. A bumper will usually highlight the main actors in the film, the executive producers, the director, and the title of the episode or film. Butterfly frame. Usually made for use outdoors or on very large indoor locations, butterfly frames are rather large aluminum or steel, square or rectangular frames, which hold various fabrics, which help cinematographers control the lighting on set. C-Stand. A stand with a turtle base, which helps production crews rig lights and other equipment up in the air. The legs to a C-stand fold together, making it easy to transport or to store. C-47, a clothespin usually used to pin up a curtain or smaller lightweight items on set. Call sheet, this sheet is given to cast and crew telling them the time they are required to be on location, where the location is, and what they will need to bring with them, as well as what scenes the productions will be filming that day. Cam lock. This is a power and electrical cable connector used for location generators and film and video studio power distribution setups. Cam lock connectors are waterproof and usually color-coded red, white, green, black, and blue to make life easier and safer when laying out your electrical power system. These are probably the most modern, simplest, and the safest connectors you can use on set. Camera. This term refers to the most basic tool you will use making your film. A camera captures an image and converts it to a recorded medium, so it can be stored and shown later. Camera angle. The position to which your camera is aimed for a certain shot or scene. Camera movement. This term refers to any time your camera is moved for the objective of taking the audience along with the action. This may include panning, tilting, use of dollies, camera cranes, pedestals, and several other forms of movement. Camera operator, the person which controls a camera. Camera wedge, this is a small, usually no longer than four inch long piece of wood cut in a triangle or wedge shape to raise a camera, lighting, or sound equipment so it can be at a level height. Many videographers refer to these as shims since they are no different than the wooden shims you can purchase from any local hardware store for use in your home repairs. Caption, the text which appears at the bottom of the screen, allowing the viewer to read the dialogue to him or herself during a film. This may be used in closed captioning situations for television broadcast or for translation purposes when an actor is playing the role speaking a language which the viewer may not understand. Cardellini clamp, a larger steel clamp which is used to mount equipment to larger pieces of pipe or other circular items. These have a baby pin attached to them to make rigging as easy as possible. Cast, all the actors and actresses which make up the production. Ceiling clips, a baby pin which is attached to a clamping device which can clamp onto the rails of a drop ceiling. Celo, a type of cookie used to reflect a pattern or a formation on the background of a shot. Censorship, black bars, video blurs, or tones used to cover over times when actors or actresses curse or show inappropriate things on broadcast television. Censorship here in the United States is controlled by the FCC, or Federal Communications Commission. CGI, computer graphic images. This term refers to any image which is created entirely inside of a computer. For instance, a spaceship scene in a Star Trek movie, or the transforming cars in the Transformers movies. Chain vice grip. A vice grip which can be used to attach equipment onto a very large and irregularly shaped items, such as a square beam. A baby pin is welded onto these grips to allow for easier rigging. Character. A role or person in your script for which you wish to have a part in your film. Cheeseburger or cheeseboro. These come in two variations, 
swivel, or fixed. The fixed variation allows you to connect two pipes together at a perfect 90 degree angle. The swivel variation allows you to connect two pipes together at any angle. These are also widely used in the live event lighting field. Choreographer, the person responsible for the dancing taking place during a scene. Cinematographer or cinematography, the person or job title given to the person responsible for the image being captured. A director conveys to a cinematographer what he or she would like to capture. It is up to the cinematographer to actually capture it, meaning he or she must know which camera settings they would like to use and are responsible for informing the lighting crew for how he or she would like the scene to be lit. Clapboard, a small board-like device which has the scene, take number, and production information written on it and is shown at the beginning or end of every scene to all cameras so the editors can organize the footage easier in their editing program of choice. The clapboard, also sometimes referred to as a slate, also claps together, producing a loud clap sound, allowing the editor to synchronize the audio to the video in post-production. Climax, the pivotal moment when the main character is in the most trouble or the action is at its highest moment. In a major film, this is where the protagonist faces off with the antagonist. Combo stand. This type of stand can support a much greater weight as compared to a C stand. Their design allows their legs to be spread to three sides, which gives these stands a much higher durability for heavier equipment. Cookies. Similar to a silo, a cookie is a piece of foam core, steel, or any non-transparent material, usually painted black, which does not allow for light to travel through. Cookies could be used as large barn doors to not allow light to spill into an area the cinematographer does not wish for the light to illuminate. They can also be used to block outside light from coming in. In most cases, cookies are solid, not allowing any light to travel through. Some cookies are silos which have patterns cut into them, allowing some light to pass through, therefore creating a pattern. Costume, an outfit which is worn by an actor or actress which goes along with the film's time period and setting. Craft services, this is basically a fancy term for catering on a film location. Craft services for major projects will have snacks and water available for cast and crew at all times. For smaller projects, this may be just a tent and some pizza, although I highly suggest to all directors to ensure you have plenty of water available to all crew at all times, regardless of the size of your production or budget. Credits. These are the graphics which roll at the end of the film, showing the audience everyone's name who is involved in making the film. Crew. Everyone involved in the behind the scenes to make a production possible. This includes the director, lighting, sound, craft services, and everyone else who is on location during the filming, except for those who are going to be in front of the camera. Cribbing, small pieces of scrap wood used to protect a location. If clamping a piece of equipment to a beam, pipe, or piece of furniture at the location, you should use two small pieces of cribbing on both sides of the clamp. This way, when you tighten the clamp, you are now gripping onto the cribbing, and you will no longer damage or scratch the location's furniture. Cucularis, another term for a silo. These are cookies which have patterns cut into them and are used to project patterns onto the background. Q, a direction given from off camera by a director telling the host or talent what to do or say. Q cards, usually held by a production assistant, these cards tell an on-air personality what to say on camera. This is also sometimes referred to as a poor man's teleprompter. Cutters, usually very large flags which are used to block light from spilling onto other areas on set. Cyclorama, a fabric backdrop. Dailies, at the end of a production day, most larger productions get all the actors, actresses, and crew together to show everyone the raw, unedited footage from that day's filming. This allows everyone to improve for the next production day. Day for night. This term refers to when a scene is meant to take place during the night, but is actually filmed during the day. In post-production, the editor will darken the footage, making it seem like the scene was actually filmed at night. This is very, very challenging to be made to look convincing on a smaller budget project. Deep focus. These are types of shots which are made to look the most realistic to our human eye. They require a massive depth of field lens, 
which allows almost everything on screen to be perfectly in focus. Depth of field, the distance between the nearest object which is in focus and the farthest object in focus. Dialogue, any words your characters say in the script. Dichrotic filter, a very specific type of glass filter attached to a camera's lens, which only allows certain light wavelengths to pass through. For example, these filters could remove the red, blue, or green hues from an image being captured by the camera to change the light temperature of the image from what the camera would have normally captured. Diffusion, a soft white fabric or opaque gel which breaks up the light wavelengths and weakens the strength of a light. Diffusion is also used to spread a light's beam. For example, if you aimed a spotlight with a tight beam at a large piece of diffusion, the light could be spread to a large area, but its strength would be severely weakened. Dingle, a piece of tree branch, leaves, or anything similar hung in front of a light to break up the beam and or cast random shadows on the scene. Director, the head of the entire film operation. This person is responsible for the delegation of any and all tasks and making the film become a reality. Director's cut. If a director is unhappy with how the final cut of the film turns out, possibly due to a large studio or a client controlling how it was edited, a director may choose to edit the project in his or her own way. This is called a director's cut and can sometimes be vastly different than the original edit. Dissolve Fade. When two video clips are put next to each other, and the audience is slowly shown the next scene, leaving the opacity of the first image slowly become more and more transparent. Dolly. A device used to move the camera in a direction. This can be used to move a camera from left and right, or forward and back. Usually a dolly is placed on a track, allowing the director to get the same exact movement out of the camera over and over again without any slight variations. Dot, a very small scrim used to provide a backdrop for small items, such as in product photography. Dutch angle, rather than panning a camera to the left or right, or tilting the camera up and down, a Dutch angle is when you purposefully twist or can't the camera off of its level field. Imagine tilting your head to the left or right on a 45 degree angle and seeing the world in this tilted perspective. This angle is used for when a director wants the audience to feel like something just isn't right at the moment in a scene, such as when the monster in the film is about to appear or when the character is about to be murdered. Duvetine. This is a piece of fabric of any size or shape which completely blocks light from the area behind it. Thicker than most other fabrics, this type of fabric can completely block off heavy light beams from entering a scene. This type of fabric is usually used to cover over windows or outside light sources on indoor locations, so the lighting department can control light easier throughout the day. Edison, the typical American electrical connector allowing you to draw electricity from a standard wall outlet. This type of connector includes a hot, cold, and ground wire. ENG truck, usually a car or SUV or truck, which serves as a production van. This vehicle contains video recording equipment Executive producer, the person paying for the production to be made. If working for a client, the executive producer, or EP, would be your client. If making a film, there can be many EPs. Each EP is a person or a company risking their own money, hoping their investment pays off, and the film makes money once it is sold to the general public. Expendables, any item which is used only once and then thrown away. Expendables may include gaff tape, markers, light bulbs, batteries, etc. These are items which are replaced quite often by a production company, since they have a limited lifespan. Eye light. Typically used by news cameramen, these lights are small, lightweight, and usually battery powered, which are mounted to the cold shoe or hot shoe at the top of a camera, providing a small lighting source directly aimed at the news anchor's face. These lights are not used on a massive scale, since they do not look good to the audience and are only used for an easy, quick solution to light someone on camera when there is not enough time to set up proper lighting equipment. Eye line. While shooting, it is important not to look directly at the actor's eyes. If you are directly in their viewpoint, it is important to look back down at your camera and not look at the actor who is trying their best to concentrate on their role. Looking at them, no matter how subtle, is called being in their eye line which can make the actor break character and lose focus. 
Remember to always look through your camera's viewfinder to see how the actor is doing and watch the actor's performance and not directly at him or her during the scene. F-stop, the measurement of the opening of the iris on a camera's lens, which allows light to pass through. Fill, opposite to the key light, the fill light is a much softer light on the subject, allowing the camera not to see many shadows on the subject's face. Finger, a small cookie in the shape of a long rectangle. First assistant camera, if on a large enough production, the first AC is responsible for maintaining perfect focus on the camera's lens during the filming of any and all scenes. Flag, a duventine covered rectangular frame with a mounting pin used to create shadows areas on the set. These are similar to cookies with the only difference being that a flag is covered in duventine in replace of other types of fabrics or colors which can be found on cookies. Flat, a piece of wood which is used as a temporary wall to create a backdrop for a scene. Typically a flat is no more than eight foot high and four foot wide. These are typically made of a four by eight foot piece of plywood and some framing wood to allow the set designers to fasten them together in the back to create a wall. Flats can be repainted and repurposed to create thousands of false walls for sets of all sizes and types. Flex arm, sometimes referred to as a magic arm, these arms are able to unlock and be positioned in any direction or configuration. They allow a director to place cameras in very odd positions or angles. When the final position is chosen by the user, the arm can lock in place, securing the item in the exact position for the duration of the project. Flood, this term refers to when a lighting operator adjusts the beam of the light coming from a lighting fixture to spread to a wider pattern. The narrower the light's beam is, the more of a spotlight the fixture becomes. The wider the light's beam, the more the fixture is referred to as a floodlight. Floor dolly. A floor dolly is a three-armed piece of metal, which has casters attached to each of the three arms, and attaches to a tripod or a combo stand, allowing the user to move the stand around on set very easily. These generally have locking mechanisms on each wheel, allowing the user to lock the stand in place. This is not to be confused with a dolly, which is placed on a dolly track. A floor dolly does not have any track and can move around freely on set. Foam core, a slim piece of foam, usually no more than three foot long and two foot wide, which you can purchase at any local craft store. The foam core they use on major films is the same foam core your children might use for an art project in school. Focus, the sharpness of an item or person in an image. Foley, a sound created on a soundstage by a Foley artist. For example, you can create the sound of thunder by shaking a large piece of thin metal. You can recreate the sound of rain by sliding sand down a wooden pipe. You can recreate the sound of footsteps by banging shoes off a floor. Foley sounds are used to recreate sounds which should have been captured during the natural environment which a scene is taking place. These sounds are vital to make a scene sound realistic. When you are filming, you may concentrate on getting great audio for the dialogue, but to make the scene authentic, you need Foley sound to let the audience hear the wind blowing by, the other people talking in the background, the footsteps of your character as they walk through the scene, and so on. Foley artist, a person who works on a soundstage recording Foley sound, usually watching the video clips of the film as they record the sound to match the scene perfectly in timing and pace of the sounds they are recreating. Frame rate, the amount of still images your camera is capturing per second to make a motion picture. Most cameras are able to recapture 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, or 60 frames per second making these the frame rates at which it can record. Using high frame rates, users can choose to create slow motion shots in editing. Framing. This term refers to the way your camera's shot is composed. This may include where the actor is placed in the frame of the camera, where the items are placed in frame, and so on. Fresnel. A type of lighting fixture whose bulb has a concave mirror surrounding the rear of the bulb, allowing the beam to become brighter as it comes out of the fixture. Full apple, this refers to an apple box which is at its largest size available. Full apples are eight inches high, 20 inches long, and 12 inches wide. Gaffer, this person is responsible for all lighting and electrical systems on set. 
Gaff Tape. Unlike duct tape, gaff tape can be pulled off after usage without leaving any glue residue behind. It is expensive, so we advise to use it sparingly, but well worth the price. Gel, a thin piece of plastic similar to the thickness of paper, which is transparent and allows the light to shine through it. Gels can be tinted with various colors, most times for live stage production lighting, and also can be tinted with diffusion white to diffuse a light, most times for video production. Gels can withstand extreme heats, so placing them in front of a hot spotlight will be no problem. Gobo, a small, round piece of metal with a design cut into its face, which allows light to pass through the cutout portions, therefore modifying the light as it passes through and projecting the design on whatever the light is aimed at. Usually, you will see gobos being used for live stage productions or weddings, showing the names of the persons getting married. Golden Hour, the time of day immediately before the sun rises above the horizon or immediately after the sun drops below the horizon, when the lighting is perfect to film outdoor scenes. Gopher. This term comes from an abbreviation. This may be an assigned position or just a role all crew members take on set. It is a command from the director to go for this or that. Green screen. These serve the same purpose as a blue screen. However, they are much more commonly used as compared to blue screens. While using a green screen, it is important not to have your actor or talent wearing green. Greens. Nicknamed greens since they are everything but green, in fact they are dark and dirty in most cases, greens are the catwalks above a set, which allow crew to move around, adjust lighting, and not have to use ground support such as lifts and ladders. Grip. This is the film or video production crew member who works with some lighting control devices not attached directly to a light, such as flags, silks, nets, reflectors, and so on, along with safety and other rigging. Grips may work with or specialize in camera support, rigs, mounts, and other rigging, such as camera grips and dolly grips. Grip head. This term refers to the head of a stand, which allows the user to mount boom arms, flags, and all other items to the stand. Ground row. A curved piece of scenery that was placed on the studio floor in front of a cyclorama to bend the two into a seamless background. Gorilla film. A very low budget film project usually conducted without obtaining any of the paperwork required. Half apple. A half apple is a half the size of a full apple box. Half apples are just 20 inches long, 12 inches wide, and 4 inches tall. Halogen. These light bulbs are filled with gas which is burned inside the bulb, producing light. One thing which is important to remember on these light bulbs is not to touch them with your bare hands seeing as these bulbs are sensitive and will not work after one finger touches them. Handheld shot. Any shot which is obtained when the user is holding the camera in their hands. In the professional industry, many directors will call for a handheld camera when in fact they are referring to a shoulder mount camera, which I have yet to figure out why this is. For these shots, it is important to have cameras with image stabilization built into the camera lens, allowing you to move around a little more freely on location. High roller stand. Sometimes referred to as a high boy or a high high, a high roller stand is almost identical to a combo stand, with one of the only differences being that a high roller stand is, you guessed it, on rollers. These stands are most times very expensive compared to buying a combo stand and a floor dolly for each combo stand. High key. You might guess from the term high key that this term refers to when your key light is high in the air. However, this term actually refers to when the key light is very close to the ground. This term actually means your scene has a lot of lighting and your shots are bright with no shadows. Typically for this style to be achieved, you need lots of lighting fixtures. Hitchcock shot. This effect is created when your camera is first placed on a dolly. This could be a floor dolly or a track dolly. As the camera is dollied out and farther from the subject, the camera slowly zooms into the subject. This sometimes is called a Hitchcock outshot. This effect could also be completed when the camera dollies into the subject but zooms out. HMI. This is an annotation for hydrogium medium arc iodine. What does that mean? I have no idea, nor should you. That said, 
What you should know about laser lighting fixtures is they are heavily used on outdoor film productions since their Kelvin color temperature very closely matches daylight, so they are used on a majority of outdoor locations. Hollywood box. A box on set which is used to distribute electrical power on location. These are also sometimes referred to as breakout boxes or breakouts, since one input comes into them and one box can distribute power to massive amounts of fixtures on set. These almost exclusively use cam lock connectors. IFB, also known as an interruptible foldback or feedback system, an IFB allows the director to communicate directly with the talent who wear tiny earpieces instead of headsets while on the air. Incandescent. These are some of the most common light bulbs you might find in your home. A tungsten filament is powered in a vacuum, creating a 2800 Kelvin temperature color. Insert shot. To explain this term, it is best we use an example. Let's say you have a scene which calls for an actor to look down at the ring on his hand and look back up at his wife. We will first show you the husband starting to tilt his head down to look at his hand. We then show the audience what we, he was looking at by filming a small video shot of his ring on his hand. This shot is what is known as an insert shot, or a shot between two action shots that shows the audience what an actor or actress is looking at or what they are referring to in a dialogue. Insider. The term referring to a gel which is placed inside the can of a lighting fixture, behind the barn doors, and close to the bulb of the light. This is in contrast to an outsider which refers to a gel which is placed on the outside of the can, clipped onto the barn doors with C47s. J-Cut. A cut in the editing which the audio cuts to the next shot before the video cuts to the next shot. This is the opposite of an L-Cut. Japanese Lantern. Also known as the China Ball. This is a wire frame covered with lightweight paper in which a small light bulb is placed inside and illuminates the whole area. Since it is a sphere, there is no controlling where the light goes, but these can offer a soft light to add to any scene. Jib. Also known as a camera crane, jibs lift a camera up in the air. This type of camera mount can allow directors to get aerial shots, have cameras hanging over the edge of a bridge, or sticking out the back of a truck, capturing driving scenes on a closed course, obviously. They also offer great moving shots for all other types of video work giving unique perspectives no cameraman can capture on his or her own. Jump cut. A cut between two identical shots. Let's say, for example, you set your camera on a tripod and filmed a static, non-moving shot. If you cut out the middle of that shot and put the beginning and end of the shot back to back, it would look very unappealing to your audience, and it would be known as a jump cut. Junior. Junior refers to 2K lighting fixtures. A junior typically includes a 1 and 1 inch pin and gets mounted to a female receiver on a stand. This is the opposite of a baby mounting system where the light has a female mount and connects to a male baby pin connector on the stand. Junior pin. Similar to a baby pin, a junior pin, however, is 1 and 1 8 inches. Junior plate. Similar to a baby plate, a junior plate has a female junior connector, allowing fixtures with a junior pin to be mounted on walls or floors. Kelvin color temperature, a numbered scale of degrees used to name the place in the spectrum a particular light source emits light in. Video cameras can be set to a dominant color temperature of a lighting setup or source. Key grip, the manager of the grip department on location. The key grip is responsible for moving all equipment on set, all rigging, flags, reflectors, and all grip department gear on set. Key light, the main light used to light a subject. If you drew an imaginary line between the camera and the subject, the key light would be placed on a 45 degree angle off to camera right or subject left's side. This light will be a harsh, very bright light fixture. Kicker. A kicker light is placed behind the subject being filmed to offer a glow to outline the subject in a soft white light. This helps separate the subject from the background. Kill switch the master on-off switch of the location's main power panel. This could be a circuit breaker for indoor locations or a generator on an outdoor location. L-cut, 
A cut in editing, which the audio cuts to the next shot after the video cuts to the next shot. This is the opposite of a J-cut. Leco. This type of light is widely used on stage productions, since they have a long can, and have barn doors built into the can, so the user can adjust where the light beam is throwing from adjusting four metal sliders, one on each side of the can. These can also be filled with a gobo to show patterns. Lens, sometimes referred to as the glass, a lens is the circular barrel attached to the front of the camera, which brings the image into the camera's sensor and controls the amount of light which makes it to the sensor. Letterbox, the black bars at the top and bottom of a finished video to change the video's aspect ratio and enable it to fit on a wider screen projection. Light stand, on larger projects, this term refers to any stand which holds a light. On smaller projects, it refers to a lightweight stand, which looks similar to a combo stand. However, a light stand can be used for a number of lightweight items. Limbo. This term refers to a seamless background or backdrop. An infinity white backdrop would be referred to as a limbo backdrop. Line producer. The person physically on location every day during the filming who is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations, including ensuring the project is running on time, and more importantly, on budget. Location Manager On larger budget projects, this person is responsible for obtaining the necessary paperwork for a location, including the permits and location contracts. They are also responsible for scouting locations out. On smaller budget projects, this person may be a representative from the location, whom is in charge of the location while you are filming at that location. Location sound. At every location you film at, you should record 10 seconds of pure silence on set. Have everyone stay silent on location for 10 seconds while you record the room or the location sounds, like when no one is speaking. This way you can add this silence into your video during dead spots to make it sound more authentic. Low boy. Similar to a high boy, the low boy is a heavy-duty combo stand put on casters, which allows heavier fixtures to be placed closer to the ground. These stands hardly ever get raised higher than a few feet in the air. Low key, a shot or scene which uses lots of shadows. Mafer clamp, similar to a super clamp, a mafer clamp is a clamp which can clamp onto a small pipe or object. Unlike a super clamp, however, a mafer clamp has a baby pin welded onto it, allowing a stronger rigging point for the user to rig onto. Montage. A montage is a compilation of many shots from a single project or multiple projects. It highlights the best moments of a video in a fast-paced editing style. Neutral density, or ND. A glass filter which is mounted in front of a camera lens to cut down on the amount of light going into the lens. The best way to think of an ND filter is by thinking of sunglasses for your camera. Night for night. The opposite of a day for night scene, a night for night scene, is a night scene which is filmed at night. NTSC, National Television Systems Committee, which sets television and video standards, which all networks must abide by. OB light. Another term used to describe an eye light. Offset arm. A steel or aluminum arm which is fastened to the baby pin at the top of a C stand which allows the user to place a stand behind a wall and extend this arm to mount equipment over the wall. A boom arm could do a similar task. However, an offset arm has a baby pin welded onto the other side, allowing the user to use less rigging when mounting fixtures over walls. OTS. This term is an annotation for over the shoulder shot, commonly used for interviews, in which the camera showcases a small portion of the interviewer's head and shoulder on the left or right side of the screen, a bulk of the screen is taken up by the interviewee. This type of shot is meant to look as if the audience is looking over the shoulder of the one person to see the other person. Overexposed. This term refers to when a camera lens is bringing in too much light into the camera sensor, causing the image to appear washed out and turning a portion of the screen pure white. There is no fixing overexposed images in editing, since there is no color left in the image to salvage. Pan. This term refers to when you place your camera on a tripod and turn the camera left or right without moving the tripod legs. This is accomplished by turning the head of the tripod left or right. Pancake. This is a type of apple box 
which is one eighth of the normal size of a full apple box. A pancake is merely 20 inches long, 12 inches wide, and one inch high. Pickle, commonly used in the stage production industry, but also used on large film locations, the term pickle refers to a small, narrow controller for chain hoist motors. Chain hoist motors allow users to lift and lower large and heavy trussing and lighting equipment from the rafters of buildings. Pickles are small controllers which riggers tie onto their belt to allow them to easily control a motor from up in the rafters. Pipes, usually used in grid systems in a large studio, pipes can also be used on smaller applications, such as vehicles or on smaller locations. Pipes allow users to place rigging or fixtures anywhere in the grid of pipes, giving the user endless capabilities. PL, also known as a party line, a PL system allows all production and engineering personnel to be in constant voice contact with one another. Platypus, also sometimes called quacker clamps. This term refers to a type of clamp which has a baby pin welded onto a vice clamp, allowing the vice clamp to be mounted onto any stand. A platypus also has paddles, similar to the animal this term implies, on its locking portion. These clamps are used to hold foam core or large reflectors in place. Pole cats, a spring-loaded pipe with suction cups at both ends, which can be used to spread between a floor and a ceiling or between two walls at a film location. Once mounted, these offer users a safe way to rig their equipment to a pipe, which is securely mounted to a venue. At the end of filming, a pole cat can be removed quite easily without damaging the location. Poop. This term is used by directors or cinematographers to ask lighting crews for more light from a certain fixture. For example, give us a little more poop out of that light, in which case the lighting crew would either turn up the fixture's output or move the light closer to the subject. Post-production. Everything done on a production after the final scene has been filmed. This would include setting the equipment down after a production day is complete, editing, color correction, CGI, finishing, and reviewing the finished video project. Practical. This term refers to any electrical item which can be found in frame of a shot, such as a lamp on set which is turned on during the filming of a scene and in the background of a shot. These can be used to help light the scene, however, many times they are just a scenery item. Pre-production. Anything and everything which is done in preparation before the first shot is filmed. This includes script writing, location scouting, and setting up the equipment before the production day begins. Producer. The person or persons responsible for the logistical side of a production, such as ensuring the required equipment is on location ensuring the required crew and craft services are available, and so on. Production. Anything and everything from the moment the camera starts recording the first scene to the moment the camera stops recording the final scene of a film. Props. Any and all physical items which the actors or actresses will interact with on screen. For example, this may include a glass mug the actor drinks from, the cigarette the actress smokes, or the fake money the actor hands to another actor to purchase something. The list goes on and on. These can be real items such as real money, or they can be fake, made to look real on camera. Pull out. This term refers to productions which utilize a dolly, where the dolly moves away from the subject which is being filmed. Punch. The amount of light a lighting fixture illuminates, or the amount of distance a fixture will throw its beam. For example, that light has a strong punch. Push in. This term refers to productions which utilize a dolly, where the dolly moves towards the subject which is being filmed. Quarter apple, an apple box which is the quarter of a size of a full apple box. A quarter apple is only 20 inches long, 12 inches wide, and 2 inches high. Rack focus. This effect is created when a camera has two subjects in its framing. One subject must be closer to the camera than the other. A rack focus is achieved when one of the items is in focus and the other is not. The camera then adjusts its focus so the other item is in focus and the first is not. Reel. A collage of the best shots a camera operator or director has captured in his or her recent projects. Reflector. Usually made of fabric or foam core, a reflector is placed in front of a light source, which can also be the sun for an outdoor project, and is used to bounce light back onto a subject. Rigger. 
the person on a production location responsible for setting up all lighting fixtures and all scaffolding. This person is also responsible for using all types of stands, clamps, and other rigging equipment to safely mount fixtures in different places on the location. Riser. Think of a riser as a section of a stage. A riser is a large wood or aluminum platform which is risen off the ground to allow the set to be risen to the camera's height or the camera to be risen to the set's height. A riser is used in replace of using hundreds of apple boxes, which can be very unsafe. Many times, risers are used to lift cameras and their operators off the floor in the back of an audience for a live event, so the camera can see over the audience even during standing ovations. Roller. This term is used to describe any stand which is on casters or wheels. Safety cable. A steel cable with a steel carabiner at the one end and a fastened loop at the other end, which is wrapped around any piece of equipment, lightweight or heavy duty, placed at any height. A safety cable catches the piece of equipment if the rigging fails and prevents it from crashing to the ground and potentially injuring someone in the process. Each safety cable has a load rating for which the manufacturer recommends it to be used. And you should check the weight of the gear you plan on rigging before securing a safety cable to any piece of gear. Sandbag. A cloth bag which is filled with one of many materials, such as sand, dirt, rocks, or sometimes water bottles, when on remote locations. Two halves of the bag are filled with the heavy material, while in the middle of the bag, a cloth handle allows users to easily pick up the bag and move it around on location. These are used to weigh down the legs to every stand on set to ensure the stand doesn't fall over. Satellite uplink truck. The satellite uplink truck is a portable station that sends the video and audio signals to a specific satellite, generally used for live production. Scene. A scene is made up of one or more shots, which tell the story of one action or the story of one location. As soon as the video cuts to a different location or a different action, the film begins a new scene sequence. Scene doc. This term refers to the area in the studio for which set pieces, props, backdrops, and gear are stored. Scenery refers to larger props, flats, drapes, and backdrops. Scoop, sometimes referred to as the can of the lighting fixture, this term describes the metal cylinder surrounding the light bulb, which focuses the light into a beam. Scrim, this term describes a piece of metal mesh, which can be placed in front of a lighting fixture's bulb, which helps to fuse or break up the light's beam coming out of the light. Script, the written document which describes all actions and dialogue which will take place during a video or film. Second assistant camera. This person is solely responsible for the use of the clapboard on location. Set, the location or created location on which the scene takes place. Set designer, the person in charge of the designing and overseeing the building of the set. Shot, a video clip captured by a camera during a production. Every time a camera starts recording, it begins a new shot. A scene is made up of many different shots and can be filmed from multiple angles at the same time. Shot bag. Similar to the sandbag, a shot bag is a similar size cloth bag filled with metal pellets, which make the bag much heavier than the sand can make the bag on its own. Shotgun. This term describes a microphone's very concentrated pickup pattern. Contrary to the type of gun this term also describes, in which pellets are fired out of a barrel and spread out over a large coverage area, a shotgun microphone has a very small, narrow coverage area directly in front of its one end. These microphones are always used on film productions since they do not capture audio from the surrounding area. Shoulder cam, a term used to describe a camera which can be placed on a person's shoulder. Usually a shoulder camera has a rounded foam cup which fits a person's shoulder so they can operate the heavy camera comfortably for the long production days. Shutter speed. This term describes the amount of time the camera shutters are open, exposing the image and the light to the camera's sensor. The longer the shutter speed, the more light the sensor will capture. Longer shutter speeds can be used to capture moving light, such as a passing car on the road at night. The shorter the shutter speed, the less light the sensor will capture. Shorter shutter speeds are in most cases used to freeze high-speed action, such as when capturing sporting events or dancing. Sidearm, a piece of steel which can be attached to any section of a stand, which extends an arm out and away from the stand, therefore allowing this user to mount a piece of equipment 
on the attached baby pin. These are typically very expensive and can be easily replaced with a super clamp and boom arm. Single. Similar to a scene dock, a single is an area in a studio which is used to store set pieces, flats, props, and backdrops. Snoot. A cylindrical piece of flat metal which can be attached to the front of the scoop or can of the lighting fixture to make its light beam even more focused and narrow. Sound blanket. No different than a moving blanket you would find on a moving van, a sound blanket is a thick piece of fabric which absorbs sound reflections and doesn't allow sound to travel through it. These are widely used to reduce the amount of noise coming onto a set if a location is open and has lots of people around. Special effects. Sometimes abbreviated to just SFX or FX for short, this term describes anything which is done through other filming means. This could include creating small-scale replicas of buildings or cars, which are then smashed, instead of the massive budget which would be required to actually smash a real building. This can also refer to computer animations, which are used such as when a ship flies through space on a film. Split screen, an editing effect in which two different camera angles are shown at one time, side by side on one screen. Sticks, a term used by directors and cinematographers on almost every project. Sticks is a term used to instruct crew members to place a camera on a tripod. For instance, your director might tell you, I want that camera on sticks. Steadicam, a chest-mounted harness which extends a spring-loaded arm from the harness to support a camera's weight, allowing the camera operator to get a very smooth moving shot. Stinger, this term is widely used in the film industry to describe an electrical extension cable. Don't ask me why film professionals can't just call an extension cord an extension cord. I firmly believe it's just another term the industry came up with so no one else understands what it is we're talking about while on set. Storyboard, a document included in a script which showcases the framing the cinematographer should have for each shot and scene. Super clamp, this term describes a clamp which can be fastened to any pipe or smaller irregularly shaped item and has a removable stud a super clamp's removable stud has a one quarter inch screw atop it, allowing the user to attach smaller cameras to the clamp. If the stud is removed, the super clamp has the perfect size opening to allow a boom arm to be inserted and locked into place, allowing for thousands of different rigging configurations. Take, a continuous shot of a scene or performance. Tally light, used for live productions, this is the red light on the camera and inside the camera's viewfinder indicating when the camera is on the air. Tilt. This term describes the action taking place when a camera operator places a camera on a tripod and without moving the tripod's legs, pushes the camera up and down to raise or lower the view of the camera. Time lapse. A series of still images which are captured over a long period of time, which are then combined in editing to make a motion picture, allowing the audience to see things such as clouds moving, a building being constructed, or waves crashing on a beach. Titles. This term describes any words which are added to the graphics of a video production during editing. Triple header baby. This is a type of arm which mounts atop a combo or C-stand and allows the user to mount multiple fixtures to one stand. Triple header junior. Similar to a triple header baby, this term describes the same sort of arm which the only difference being that the triple header junior has a junior pin attached to it instead of baby pins, allowing the user to attach three or more junior plug items to one stand. Tripod, a triple leg stand which is used to support a camera or other similar device and provides a platform for smooth movement without lifting off the ground. Typecasting, this term describes when an actor or actress is cast in similar roles over and over again. For example, an actor may be cast as the villain in every film. In many cases, actors and actresses do not like being typecasted, no matter how well they perform in those roles. Underexposed. The opposite of overexposing an image, underexposure is caused when a camera is not getting enough light through the lens and to the sensor to record an image. Because of this, the camera is only recording a dark, black area on the image being recorded. VO, an abbreviation used to describe a voiceover, or whenever a voice is heard by the audience, but the person to whom is reading the dialogue is not seen in the video portion of the film. Windscreen, 
acoustic foam rubber that is put over the entire microphone to cut down on wind noise. Zoom. This term describes when a camera is using a variable focal length lens and allows the camera operator to change the framing of the shot by turning the camera lens or pushing a button on the camera. This narrows or widens the crop of the image, allowing the audience to have a closer look at something which happened or see a wider shot of something without the need for the camera operator to change the camera's lens. Thank you for watching and see us back here next time on VLAMP, video lighting, audio, music, and photography how-to show.